Double up run day, baby! Let's go! Woo! Happy New Year! It's already the first day of the year and pivoting. Change of plans for New Year's Day park run. Plan was to go to Sandgate, put the Essex Metaspeed Sky Plus on and have a crack at a fast 5k. Well, early hours of this morning, our youngest son called us. He was out partying in the city with his girlfriend and he needed a lift home. So not long after finishing work and being in bed for a short period of time, we went into the city, picked them up and took them home. Family comes first. Got to make sure that your kids are safe. The end result is, bugger all sleep, and I feel absolutely beat. Instead of making the half hour drive to Sandgate, we decided on a little bit extra time sleeping, and just came 10 minutes down from home to Manipi Park Run. The upshot is that I decided not to have a crack at a fast time this morning. The body's just not in a good position to do that. Listen to the body. This close to Tarawera, just not prepared to push a tired body. I'm making the sensible decision to just cruise through New Year's Day park run at Manipi. The 5k push can wait. All right, finish this warm up and catch you at the start. Happy New Year, January 1. Two runs in one day. Oopsies. I'm really glad that I pulled the pin on that hard 5K this morning, because my legs were just so doughy. 22.06 I ran, and to be quite honest, I think that's about all I had in me. Not that I pushed, just didn't feel like there was a lot of get up and go in the body. And that's just tiredness. Bad hit this afternoon. Just nice and easy at the trails. Just trying to get a little bit of elevation in the legs. I'm not gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna spend two hours out here. Make sure if you are going to incorporate some double up runs into your running that they have a purpose. Might be getting some extra mileage for the week. You might be preparing for a, an event that is going to take multiple hours. 
Or you might just use another run on a particular day for a warm up to gym work, strength work, stretching, maintenance. Just don't add one in for willy nilly. Give it a purpose. For me, it's definitely mileage, extra elevation, and whew, getting used to oh, I'm a bit of a puff. Sorry guys. Getting used to running at different times of the day. 102k gonna take me multiple hours. So that's what I'm using this double up day for to get used to that. Up the hill again we go. And if you are getting ready for a trail event, don't neglect the downhills. They are just as important as running uphill because the quads take an absolute beating when you're running downhill. So make sure you're doing plenty of that as well. If you're getting ready for an event, that's got lots of elevation, not only up, but also down. That's a mistake I made when I went to the Boston Marathon in 2014. I neglected the downhill running and for anyone who has run Boston you will know that the first half is pretty much downhill and when your legs aren't used to it and you get to heartbreak hill wow that's when my race fell apart so I'm really making sure now that I really suss out the course layout for any event that I do. I make sure I'm well prepared and there's no little hidden surprises on race day. I really appreciate all the work that they've done in here at the Belmont Hills Reserve. But these rocks are very uneven for running on and I'm just a little bit paranoid about my ankles. The last thing I want now, six weeks out from Tarawera, is a rolled ankle. It's not a huge area in here, but there's a nice big hill right in the center that offers some nice elevation. Single track like this one. There's also a bit of a forestry road as well over that way. You do have to loop back on yourself a bit. But it's only about 10 minutes from home. Makes it really handy. And up we go. Double up run day, done and dusted. 17.17k on the trails. That's a good day, 25k all up. Oh, but I'll tell you what, it was nice and humid in there. No breeze in amongst that bush. I have sweated up a storm. Biggest mileage week again. Let me get around here so the light's a little bit better. 125k for the week. Lots of elevation, lots of hills this week. First run here on the trails for a couple of weeks. Some good hills in there. I don't know what the elevation was. I'll put it here on screen. From that run, six weeks to go until race day, February 11, Tarawera, 102 kilometer. Ultra marathon trail race in New Zealand at Rotorua. It's getting close, guys. Looking forward to it now. It's starting to get real. I'm thinking that the next three weeks are gonna really roll the sleeves up and get stuck in, get some high mileage in, get some good trail work in get some elevation in and then uh, I think I'll have a three week taper into Tarawera. Alright guys, thanks for coming along on this double up. 
thanks for coming along on this double up run day. Hope your running is going well. Hope you're staying safe out there, whether you're running on the trails or on the roads or wherever you are running. That's it for now, guys. So I'll catch you in the next video.